future EMTs, today we're going to talk about how to log roll our patient. This is a step within a bigger process. So today we're not going to look at things like holding manual stabilization, CMS, or application of a C collar. We're just going to talk about the piece of log rolling. All right, first I'm going to have my partner Chandlin. Chandlin's going to hold Sahali's head in a neutral inline position. We'll talk about how he does that in another video, but Chandler's going to do that correctly for me. Then for me, what I need to do is I need to control my patient's torso. That's going to be from her shoulders down to her hips. If it's just Chandler and myself, then I'm going to make sure I grab that bony structure on the hips and the bony structure on her shoulders. But since today I have Cindy working with me, I'm going to have Cindy help control the hips. So I will grab on the bony structure of the shoulder and below the hip. And then I'll have Cindy grab on upper hip with a bony structure so that we cross our arms. We want to cross our arms so that we can feel each other's movement as we roll Sahali up so that we keep the integrity of her spine and roll her as a unit. Then Cindy's gonna go ahead and grab the lower leg. I can roll her here or a style piece. What I'm gonna do is, Sahali, could you go ahead and give yourself a hug? Now her arms are out of the way. And Sahali, could you cross your right leg over your left? If you have a cooperative patient, by all means, have your patient cooperate. Now when I place the backboard before I roll her, I'm gonna get it as close as I can to my patient. And if I move my backboard up above the patient's head, when I move to slide the patient on and center them, I just have to move one direction. That's just a style piece. Okay, Chandler is our head person, so he's gonna give the count for us to roll. Is there anybody not ready? On three, one, two, three. Now that we have Sahali up, now it's my time to release my hip hand because I control the upper part of her torso. Do a detailed physical all the way down her back, checking both sides of each vertebrae, all the way down to the coccyx, the side of the back, side of the back, and back of the butt, and back of the legs. Because once I get her on a backboard, I won't be able to check them again. Now we're ready to place our patient onto the backboard on Chandler's count. Is there anybody not ready? Down on three, one, two, three. Now if you can see, Sahali isn't quite centered on our board. So I'm gonna have Cindy come around. We're gonna place one hand under the bony structure of her shoulder or her scapula. And if she has pants on that we can grab, we'll grab those pants, if not, We'll put our hand underneath her hip in her buttocks so that we can slide her up and add a diagonal. So right now, we need to go up and a diagonal to the patient's right about six inches on Chandler's count. Anybody not ready? On three, one, two, three. We're centered. My patient looks centered on the board and where I want her head for the headband, that's our log rolling of a patient. 